As you know, I lost my son Randall recently at Gallipoli. Forgive me, I, I understood that Randall was your only son. Randall was my greatest joy. All this was meant to be his. <laughs> I'm sorry about all of this. He's not a bad man, my father. He, he just... If you could bring Randall back, or, or just give him something, anything, I... I would let you out. You are the dreaming. The dreaming is you. Sir, it's me. Just this once, you could tell them what happened to you. I am quite sure they know what happened to me. And not one of them came to my head. A leather pouch filled with sand. I need it back. Because without it, my realm will cease to exist, and if dreams disappear, then so will humanity. No offense, but I could do without dreams for a while. I've had a decent night's sleep in ages. No, will you? Until we find the sand. Why do humans love objects so much? Well, they do come in handy sometimes. You seem pretty attached to your sand. It's not just an object, it's a part of me. Well, if that's true, how do you happen to lose it? <gasps> She's getting away, sir! She... What? We can't go, we can't leave her like this. We can't help her. The sand was the only thing keeping her alive. Why should we let you leave? Helmet or no, you have no power here. After all, what power? Dreams in hell. Perhaps you speak truly. But to say dreams have no power in hell, tell me, Lucifer Morningstar, what power would hell have if those here in prison were not able to dream?